pressure is building on Governor Maura Healey. Residents in East Boston want her to stop construction of an Eversource substation. Today, people against the project gathered at Boston City Hall. WBC's Brandon Truitt has the changes they're looking for. This is not right. This is not fair. Residents of East Boston in front of the doors to the City Hall Chamber, pushing back against the controversial Eversource substation. So far, we are voicing our concerns, but we are not being heard. The current proposed site sits here, just off Condor Street. It's close to public parks and near fuel tanks for the airport. Crews broke ground in January despite the pushback. Last November, 84% of voters here say they did not approve of the project. That ballot question was not binding, but advocates point out that taxpayers are footing the bill. You're paying to build something that's in a flood zone, and if it floods and it gets damaged, you'll be paying to redo it. For its part, Eversource says East Boston is the only neighborhood in Boston without its own substation. With demand for electricity in the neighborhood continuing to rise, this new infrastructure is critical to supporting long-term residential and economic growth in the neighborhood. Governor Mara Healey expressed opposition to the project as attorney general, but advocates criticize her for staying largely silent on the topic since becoming governor. Today, Healey's office sent WBZ a statement saying without an inclusive or transparent process, black brown, immigrant, and low-income people are forced to bear a disproportionate burden of energy infrastructure. City leaders are hoping the governor steps up. I hope she does. I hope she sees the advocacy, and I hope that she hears concerns, not just from elected officials, but from neighbors um, across all socioeconomic statuses and, and ethnicities. Those who are against this project point out East Boston is the only neighborhood in the state with an international airport, and that airport pulls a lot of power. They're proposing building the substation and Massport property. Brandon True at WBZ News.